Hello viewers, World Rabies Day is celebrated on the 28th of September every year. Rabies is a viral zoonotic disease that affects people all around the world. To counter it, the United Nations World Health Organization have been campaigning under the theme Rabies, One Health, Zero Deaths. So today let's look at the virus itself that causes rabies, the symptoms for rabies, and the treatments that are available for it and the awareness campaigns that one can participate in. World Rabies Day is an international awareness campaign coordinated by the Global Alliance for Rabies Control, a non-profit organization with headquarters in the United States. It is a United Nations observance and has been endorsed by international human and veterinary health organizations, such as the World Health Organization, the Pan American Health Organization, the World Organization for Animal Health, and the US Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. September the 28th is World Rabies Day. A global health observance started in 2007 to raise awareness about rabies and bring together partners to enhance prevention and control efforts worldwide. It is celebrated annually to raise awareness about rabies prevention and to highlight progress in defeating this horrifying disease. 28 September also marks the anniversary of Louis Pasteur's death. The French chemist and microbiologist who developed the first rabies vaccine. What is rabies? Rabies is a viral zoonotic disease that causes progressive and fatal inflammation of the brain and spinal cord. Clinically, it has two forms. Furious rabies, characterized by hyperactivity and hallucinations. Paralytic rabies, characterized by paralysis and coma. Although fatal once clinical signs appear, rabies is entirely avoidable. Vaccines, medicines and technologies have long been available to prevent death from rabies. Nevertheless, rabies still kills tens of thousands of people each year. Of these cases, approximately 99% are acquired from the bite of an infected dog. The disease, rabies, is caused by a group of viruses, but the rabies lysovirus, or RABV, is the most common one in terms of public health as almost all human and dog rabies cases are caused by this particular virus. In North America and Europe, rabies in wildlife such as skunks, raccoons, foxes, jackals, etc. are also almost all caused by the RABV. Even bats in North America and vampire bats in South America are typically associated with the RABV. Where does rabies occur? Rabies occurs worldwide and on all continents except for Antarctica. However, the vast majority of human deaths, up to 99%, are caused by the classical rabies virus transmitted by dogs. Anyone bitten by a rabbit animal or exposed to the saliva of a rabbit animal is at risk from developing rabies and should seek immediate medical advice to initiate life-saving post-exposure prophylaxis. Rabies kills about 60,000 people each year, mostly in Asia and Africa. Children are at higher risk of rabies because they 
often play with animals, are more likely to receive a bite to the face or neck, and may not report bites or scratches received during play. Bites from rabid dogs cause up to 99% of human rabies cases. Rabies is often always fatal once clinical signs occur. There is currently no effective treatment for rabies after clinical signs appear. However, the disease is preventable through vaccination either before or immediately after an exposure. How is rabies transmitted? The rabies virus is mainly transmitted from the saliva of a rabid animal when it bites or scratches a person. Licks to wounds, grazes, broken skin, or to the lining of the mouth and nose can also transmit the virus. The virus can be transmitted from the bite of any rabid animal. Human rabies cases have occurred because of bites from cats, bats, mongooses, jackals, foxes, wolves, and other carnivorous animals. Worldwide, rabies due to monkey and rat bites is rare. Many animals will become aggressive and bite when they have rabies, including horses and donkeys. In animals where biting is not common, such as cattle and buffalo, transmission can still occur through exposure to saliva. Care should be taken while examining sick animals that are salivating. <clears throat> what are the symptoms of rabies in a dog? Dog rabies is characterized by changes to its normal behavior, such as unprovoked abnormal aggression, for example biting two or more people or animals and or, or inanimate objects without provocation, abnormal behavior, restlessness, incoordination and paralysis, lethargy, abnormal vocalization or a change in vocalization, example hoarse barking and growling or inability to make a sound, and hypersalivation, excessive salivation, or foaming at the edges of the mouth. The incubation period ranges from a few days to several months. However, death usually occurs within 10 days after the onset of symptoms. Any bite from a dog in an area endemic for rabies should be considered a potential risk. Prevention Eliminating rabies in dogs Rabies is a vaccine-preventable disease. Vaccinating dogs is the most cost-effective strategy for preventing rabies in people. Dog vaccination reduces deaths attributable to dog-mediated rabies and the need for PEP or post-exposure prophylaxis as a part of dog bite patient care. Awareness on rabies and preventing dog bites. Education on dog behavior and bite prevention for both children and adults is an essential extension of a rabies vaccination program and can decrease both the incidence of human rabies and the financial burden of treating dog bites. Increasing awareness of rabies prevention and control in communities includes education and information on responsible pet ownership, how to prevent dog bites and immediate care measures after a bite, engagement and ownership of the program at the community level increases reach and uptake of key messages, immunization of people, the same vaccine used for dogs is also used to immunize people after an exposure for post-exposure prophylaxis or before exposure to rabies, which is thus common. Pre-exposure immunization is recommended for people 
in certain high-risk occupations, such as laboratory workers handling live rabies and rabies-related lysoviruses, and people such as animal disease control staff and wildlife rangers, whose professional or personal activities might bring them into direct contact with bats, carnivores, or other mammals that may be infected. Pre-exposure immunization might be indicated also for outdoor travelers to and expatriates living in remote areas. With a high rabies exposure risk and limited local access to rabies biologics. Finally, immunization should also be considered for children living in or visiting such areas. As they play with animals, they may receive more severe bites or may not report such bites. Key facts on rabies Rabies is a vaccine preventable viral disease which occurs in more than 150 countries and territories. Docs are the main source of human rabies diseases and deaths, contributing up to 99% of all rabies transmissions to humans. Interrupting transmission is feasible through vaccination of dogs and prevention of dog bites. Infection causes tens of thousands of deaths every year mainly in Asia and Africa. Globally, rabies causes an estimated cost of 8.6 billion US dollars per year. 40% of people bitten by suspect rabbit animals are children under 15 years of age. Immediate thorough wound washing with soap and water after contact with a suspect rabbit animal is crucial and can save lives. Engagement of multiple sectors and one health collaboration, including community education, awareness programs, and vaccination campaigns are critical. The WHO leads the collective United Against Rabies to drive progress towards zero human deaths from dog-mediated rabies by the year 2030. To learn more about rabies and the campaigns related to it, please visit www.who.int slash health topics slash rabies. You can also visit rabiesalliance.org to learn more.